Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is 2009 NEDM here, and today we're gonna play some Battle of Hearts: The Great War. So, uh, new chapter. So, uh, let's get it underway. August 1st, 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, Franz is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away Emil as well. A heavy-hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for Samuel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. Oh boy, okay. What's this book? Okay, war declared. Archduke Franz Finnerland here, hired to the Austrian hunger throne, was assassinated. In, 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 how do you say that? Sar, Sar Javo. As a result of the chain of this diplomatic and immunity alliance and peace, the event launched Europe into a fire armed conflict that which the involvement of colonies took on the global dimension. August 1st, Germany declared war on Russia. August 3rd, Germany declared war on France. August 4th, Britain declared war on Germany. That's different. August 11th and 12th, France and Britain declared war on Austria Hungary. Oh boy, the barrack. Alright, this is about the barracks. Railways. And, uh, the debacle of August 1914. Sure, uh, the barracks and the regular mint. Alright, uh, headquarters and four companies, a total of 1,700 men in all companies were composed of four platoons and turned divided into four sections, each of 12 men, commanded by an NCO. Britain was slow to mobilize to the Western Front. Half its army was overseas, and the genuine fear of invasion infantry division were held in reserve in Britain and not included in the British explanatory force, which conscript only came into force in 1916. Voluntary establishment was initially overwhelming, with 750,000 men eager to show their patriotism. Wow. Railways. With the break of the war, each country was eager to dispatch its army in situ as quickly as possible to gain the advantage. Railways were essential for mobilization and supply. By August 1914, the British realized the importance of rail 
in the war effort was dispatched Royal Engineers to a front to build new lines by 1917 for 40,000 enlisted railway soldiers for working for the RE in France and Flanders. The debacle of August 1914. In the early fighting, the German army made a swift progress. After invading Belgium, they marched on Paris in, in late August. French troops re retreated in masses and units were outflanked and repelled, taking prisoners or killed. The months of August and September 1914 marked the bloodiest period of the war, but the hope with over 118,000 French casualties alone, the French authorities described the debacle as the organized retreat. The war to win over public opinion has begun. All right. All right. Sure. I don't know what you're saying, sir. Okay. Oh, all right. Suit up. Awesome. And what be you? Oh, oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go and get the battle ready. I thought I was gonna. Our uh, grenades? Okay. It's fun. <laughs> okay, cool. There's nothing for you like, I guess. Alright. My dear Marie, we are on our way to Paris. The atmosphere here is strangely cheerful. I hope that the harvest goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. Hey man, stop. Are you kidding me? One of our soldiers can't Hey, what? Are you okay? There you go, thank you. <laughs> Whistle. All right. 
Station's master's whistle. Steam trains made stations were very, very noisy places. There are no loudspeakers and no, of course there's no loudspeakers and no displays. So platform officials had to sh shout train information to passengers. Whistles are the best way to attract passengers attention. Okay. Uh, so can I use that? I don't think so. Uh. Hey, hey, oh. Uh. All right. Hey, that doesn't work. How am I supposed to? Uh... My body is <laughs> Or I see. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. Hey, so, what do I have to do? Hey, I'm oh. Okay. Let me pour all that uh, wine real quick. You know, go and give it to uh, a buddy of mine. Here you go. Ah. Uh, mm. There you go, friend. Go drink. Drink up, man. Oh, I don't want the headset. Right. New diary? Okay. Oh, I can't read that one. I think I have to read this one. Right. August 12th, 1914. I started training at the military camp today. I can't help thinking of Carl, who was probably doing the same in Germany. The declaration of war has created havoc. I hope Marie and the neighbors manage to finish harvest time. No, harvest time. What am I talking about? Right. August 12, 1914. At last, I can't wait to get fighting. Maybe it'll ease some of the pain I feel inside. Okay. Uh, Alright. I'll just read some later. I'd go up. No ladder. Music. I'm gonna find music. Oh. Cheer on, fellow countrymen. We will soon head to work. There you go. Alright, friend. Nice to meet you here. American. Good luck, my friend. 